Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 45 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Curious. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, let's see how this quote unquote, not really finale, but you know, second to last episode ends. <laughs> I don't think we're getting an opening today. Oh, psh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> but the biggest thing is, I'm kind of hoping that we get, when we get into next Saturday's episode, aka the finale, they do play this one last time. I mean... <sighs> Once again, because I'm sad because next week is the finale. And I was like, oh, I'm ready for 48 episodes. But because, you know, the situation of looking back at Healing Good and because of COVID, you know, kind of ending Healing Good's production and cutting that in half. And then technically with this getting cut, it seems like now up until they're able to, like, get to a point where they're able to catch up with it again delicious party is also going to get that same treatment it seems like now we're only going to get 46 episodes and we're cutting like four to five episodes because of course we didn't get a christmas episode with these girls um and then maybe like insert mana mana to focus episode insert laura insert songo um Mirarin, Arian, Asuka focus type episodes. So it's like six episodes that they probably missed on. But of course, because production and time things, you have to make budget cuts. I get it, I get it. But still, it would have been nice. Those things from the past, of course. Oh. Exactly. Listen to them. Hear them out. Which was a complete lie.
Why am I about to cry? Oh my god! No, DJ, we're not supposed to do this today. We do this next Saturday, babe. I think probably just because it's getting more real. <laughs> oh, shit. Mm -hmm. It's already happening. God damn it, DJ. So can we kind of say that they kind of took like maybe some reference from kind of like Trigger slash Mappa? Especially with like, I saw screenshots like earlier before I watched the episode. Like especially, look at how all that looks. Like come on now. Of course, he would block that shit. But what else can you do, though? <laughs> Baby monitor.
Oh! <gasps> Shut up. Of course, the last little bit would be with her. Oh my goodness, she's waving! <laughs> but the fact is that he went out like that. really does not want to give up. I mean, Jesus. He, he, of course, reminded me of JoJo characters as well. He'd be like, nope, I'm not giving up until you know, mm. It really is, huh? I mean, I, I, oh, mm, you know what? I'm saying now. I mean, this battle for a two, three, four parter episode, I mean, I do like the fact that it was in parts. But it just, I, I don't know, it kind of felt a little kind of, it, it felt quick. That it, it, is it just me? It just felt really quick. But, I mean, hell, that was the same way I felt with Star Twinkle as well.
Yeah, because you know, if you do give it back to him, he might end up acting up again. I'm dreading Nick. I don't want it to be next Saturday so bad. Like, uh. Hmm? Oh, yeah. The fan did. Uh huh. I know. Yes. Hmm? 
Yeah, basically. <laughs> the fact that Mirodin. <laughs> but Sago looked good with the mem. <laughs> Y'all knew it was coming. Which is what you wanted, right? Now, if we don't see Laura older as a queen in the final episode and everybody else in their dreams and their careers and everything, I'm suing next week. If that happens. That's going to be the hardest decision. The, okay. All right. And I cannot believe I'm going to say this. But she, okay. Remember how like with Mirodian's story and such. Um. And everything, and no matter what, that they're, that they're going to be together forever. Okay, now this last little bit right here, and the fact is, you know, with the current queen talking to our new queen, Laura, um, and saying that she can have a choice of either becoming the next queen and moving to a different part in the sea, which could be towards, like, the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic, the Indian, wherever around the world, and being there for the rest of her life up until the next queen is chosen or say no to it and stay with her friends that is straight up a freaking little mermaid right there if it, it, it's nobody's business but it makes you wonder like what is she gonna choose like really this this is something that laura has truly wanted we all know that laura in the first half of the show she cared about nothing but becoming queen. But because of the fact is we are in the second to last episode, who knows what she's going to choose. And this is a permanent decision for her, no matter what she really chooses. But what is more important to her, her friends or queendom? And that's a really hard decision. That's the scariest decision. Like I said, the fight was for a conclusion. I mean, it felt, it was a little slow, but it was still interesting. Loved the final attack with Kira Oasis. I thought that was very interesting. It makes me wonder why <laughs> Monitsu is getting hit with a bang. <laughs> I, I feel like probably what they're going to do, it's going to be episode 34, or I think it was 30, 30, 30, 31, 32, 33, or 34, but I think it is 34. Episode 34, where it was the comedy episode all over again, especially with that last little bit, because of course... That was one of my personal favorite episodes. Um, and the one early episode, I think this was like, this had, this was, this had, this was by the time when Laura was officially Cure La Mer. So this had to be episode 28, I believe, where like the, I, I've tweeted about it so many freaking times. And every single time when I see like, it's the one with the, um, with the monster of the week when we found out it was like a big giant like jellyfish type fish creature that episode 
that the way like the animation looked and stuff was very similar to this last episode as well especially with like the fighting and everything and zooming in on like everybody's faces and stuff gave me still feels number one to jojo to a typical like mappa type production especially when you get to fighting scenes same thing with trigger so i really loved it and it seems like maybe you had someone who was working like in each of those productions on this show so a little bit from somebody from jojo's bazaar somebody from you know who worked on mappa shows and somebody who had to possibly work on trigger shows all doing the animation stuff with it because they're i mean like damn they like really specifically for this last little bit and those little moments they really really went in but still i hate the fact that next week is the final episode and that's when we're really going to probably have like the longest video ever for this show um up until the the tropical rouge slash heart catch pretty cure movie comes out sub sometime next year i still need to do healing good so i'm gonna try to do that like at least in the next few weeks i might have to do it on a i might have to wait a little bit while or i might just watch it all by myself i don't really know yet because as of right now like i am so busy with work and I don't really get home until really kind of semi early semi late and then by the time I get home I am like dead ass tired there is one day I could do it and that could be possibly like not this Friday but the following Friday so like that first week of February watch the movie for healing good and try to get that out and edit it during the day because I know I think I'm, I'm going somewhere that week so I should be good I'm not 100% sure but yeah I, next week is when we really truly are going to go and individually talk about all five girls how I have personally felt felt about them towards the beginning of the show the middle of the show the ending of the show um and just everything else that I did when you know we got towards the end and well everything that I've done from ever since I've reacted to Pretty Cure so all the way from kidda kidda up to now just talking about literally everything and my final thoughts but like at the same time I'm just not ready for this to end like seriously it, it's just my heart is breaking the fact that I was very close to crying today like uh, and I cannot imagine what the hell it's going to be like next Saturday or next Sunday by the time you guys see this. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 45 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially next Saturday, Sunday for the final episode of Tropical Rouge Pretty Care. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.